Hey there, Blue Mages. Liam here. Welcome back to Blue Academy. It's an exciting week with uh, new blue content. I've gotten most of the stuff out of the way myself, so now I can finally play the game. So we're going to be looking at uh, Goldor, the new stage. It's a shame we only got one stage, but it's an okay stage. It's very long and slow, to be honest, but uh, it's kind of mechanically interesting. The requirements for getting the achievement for... where is it? Glitty, glitterier than gold is that what it's called oh, i think it's under is it under dungeons yeah uh, all that glitters is blue that's what it was the requirement for this you need the going for gold feet and the way you get that is with elemental mastery so they brought that back um it's not total mastery just elemental mastery and a walk in the park so you can't sprint and then there's one extra thing uh where in the second act there will be a crystal um and it'll be targetable, and you just can't damage that. Now, there's no speed requirement, as you can tell from the duration of this video. It's really long. Um, I did it much slower just to show, uh, you know, all the different ways to handle things and recovering from messing up. Uh, but there's also no requirement on Vuln stacks. Like, you can get hit, and, and that's fine. There's no can't touch this or anything. So it's actually pretty accessible from an achievement point of view. So, spells. What are we taking? Well, we're grabbing Mimicry. I've got good old healer mimic. I just like to take this um, and for one of the strats that I'm showing, uh, we're going to take healer mimic just because it's easier on our mana um, in that we're going to be diamond backing a bunch and we can heal without using white wind. We have a debuff we need to cleanse, so we're going to use exuviation. Uh, you'll see in act two that this is all about physical damage, so we're going to bring goblin punch. This is a new spell, just a 220 potency um instant cast that we can use it's pretty nice uh there's no actual positionals in carnival so we're able to just use this all the time it is only melee range though so we'll want a ranged one for whenever we are out of range i grab transfiction um some people like to use things like uh fire angan where is that where is that spell right here um and this is pretty good too uh 200 potency it's a fast cast sort of like sonic boom um but yeah use whatever you want you don't even need this. You can just drop some damage and it's fine. Like I said, we're going to have Diamond back. Um, for a safety strat, we're going to bring Mighty Guard. And one thing that's cool about Mighty Guard is that Goblin Punch actually does more damage under Mighty Guard. It does less damage than if we don't have Mighty Guard, but it will do almost as much damage with Mighty Guard as it does without. You can see it does 320 when under the effect of Mighty Guard. And when we account for the Mighty Guard buff, that's what? 60% of 320 is that 192 320 times 0.6 I'm just checking this yeah 192 so it's you know 30 potency less 28 if you want to be specific blood drain I just grabbed this uh you could use this uh to regen mana I actually don't really use it but just as safety we need ram's voice and ultra vibration we actually need to vibe check an enemy in the first act um sonic boom this is not required but it's helpful for the gold or fires in the first act that you'll see I'm grabbing Shock Strike just as a lightning spell. We won't be able to use this in the second act because of the um, magic invuln. We're going to use it in the first act just for extra damage and just to get the lightning. And then we've got Mountain Buster. Um, yes, we're taking this in addition to Shock Strike, but this is because this is a physical spell that we can take uh, just for some extra damage. Eruption is going to be the fire spell that I'll use. I'm just going to use this in the first act a little bit for some extra damage. Uh, we already talked about Transfiction. There's Moon Flute, so we cannot sprint during this um, this stage, but we can use Moon Flute for movement. So you'll see that in the second act. It's uh, one way that you can handle Goldor Rush to make it a little easier. Got Sea Shanty. That's going to be our water spell. We'll use it in the first act, just do some extra damage. Gobskin can be a little bit helpful for the Goldor Rush uh, sort of turtle up strat with Diamondback. Uh, it's not needed. It's just something that's a little bit nice. We definitely do need Flying Sardine. Um, this... He has stuff that needs to be interrupted, so we're going to interrupt that. And then we also need Loom for, uh, well, it's similar to like Azul Magia, where we get a huge slow and then we need to get out of an AoE, and you'll see how to handle that. Um, ignore both ends. I'll talk about that at the end of the video, but you can take this for extra damage. We're doing this very, very slowly, very, very safely. Um, it's a very long fight the way I'm doing it, but it's just, again, I'm always trying to show the easy ways to do things, even if they're not the fastest ways. In addition to Loom, um, we're going to have this macro here. If you do blue action loom on your target, the way this works is puts you directly under the thing that you're targeting. 
I think it doesn't work on NPCs, right? Oh, it does. Okay. See, you can see I end up directly underneath. And I'll use that um, for handling the gold or gravity, and you'll see what I mean. Well, anyway, let's hop in there, and we'll see what the fight looks like. All right, we're going to open up. I'm just going to punch him the whole time. Throw a fish to interrupt his blizzard. Use our primals here. For fire, um, we're basically just going to run around him in a circle, punching. And that's pretty much it. Need a slimy summon. Come to the middle. He's gonna summon a slime. We have to freeze that and then vibe check it. For Quake, that's just plain cracker. It's a little bit faster than you expect. So just step out and step in. And just keep ourselves sealed with exuviation. When he spawns these fires, just pick one to target. Dodge his gold or blast. And then stand in front of him and look at the ground. You're going to see right there that little triangle with shape that I'm in. Knocks you back right here. Sidestep the blast. So for gravity, there's a few ways we can handle this. Sort of intended way is with loom. Because you can see we're really slow. I'll show you another way. You can use our loom macro to get right underneath him. You just take a little step forward. And over right behind him. And that works for both of the casts. You just loom underneath, move to one side, move to the other side. Thunder. He's going to put a bleed on us. You just run around. Goblin Punch is really good for this. There's a blizzard again. Interrupt. Now we have fire again. If you stand to the side, it makes it a little bit easier because... Oh no, he does thunder for this one. So he's going to put the bleed on us. We'll cleanse it. Keep watching the ground. There's our little triangle. Boom. So here's our gravity again. Like I said, we can loom right underneath him with our macro. And all we'll do... Walk just barely behind. He'll face us. Walk behind again. I like that way because it only takes one loom versus the two looms. But obviously it's a little stressful. We got fire. It's the same deal as before. Basically just gonna run in circles. He has a quake now too. Just dodge the quake. Keep moving. Thunder again. The dot's not actually that bad, but we still do want to cleanse it. Let's keep ourselves healed up. And keep running around. At this point, we're not really going to see anything new. Here comes fire. With a thunder. Just cleanse with exuviation again. Get knocked back.
Here's gravity. Loom on top of him. Step to the side. Step to the side. There's our fire. Combined with quake again. Let's keep moving. Got another fire. This will be probably the last thing we actually see. But we're still going to respect it. It's doing thunder. Let's just kill this fire. Cleanse the debuff. And knock back. Two. Second take because everyone's uh, favorite mascot, Marcy, my cat, interrupted. The first Shining Summon he spawns these golems. What we want to do is get knocked back behind and to the side because they do a cross attack. So we end up here. This next one will spawn a bunch of these dolls and we'll do a quake. We're going to stand outside the quake, we're going to come in, and we're going to diamond back. You can see they do these four beams, there's no safe spot, so we're going to get hit by two, and we're just diamond backing to be safe. This last one is a little bit scary too. It's going to spawn a minotaur. He's going to use Thunder. The Minotaur is going to inhale us to pull us into the middle. And then we have to run out because it does a swing. We also have to cleanse the exu or cleanse the dot with Exuviation. <clears throat> you can wait until you run out to the edge to do it, though. The dot doesn't actually hurt that bad. Now he's tethering the crystal, and this is where stuff gets a little spicier. And at this point, we can no longer use magic damage on him. And we don't want to hit the crystal either. So here he's going to spawn a big combo of stuff. It's going to be everything we just saw. Those are the tutorial, now it's the real thing. Find the doll, because we want to end up behind that. We are going to get slurped in with inhale. He's going to use a gold or a blast. We go behind the doll and behind the uh, golem on its side. Finishes with Blast, and then we are just sidestepping that. It's going to do a Gravity. This is just the same as before. Let's loom underneath him. Step slightly in one direction. Step in the other direction slightly more. I'm use Mountain Buster again for damage. There's a Blizzard, just interrupting that as before.
Here's where things get spicy. I'm going to put up Mighty Guard. And I'm also going to Moon Flute. You can't sprint, but you can Moon Flute for extra speed. And you can see I did get hit, but because of Mighty Guard, I'm actually safe. So I'm now going to... Exuviate to heal myself. Obviously we're waning now. We got some downtime, but that's okay. Things are going to repeat now. You'll see uh, an even sillier way to not die to rush later. So this is going to be the same as the first summon in the phase. He's going to summon everything. Find the doll. That's where we want to end up. We get pulled in. Run back here. And we're good. You want to make sure that you're not at the doll to start so that he doesn't hit the safe spot with a blast. There are two safe spots, but it can be hard to adjust. Here's the gravity. Let's go underneath again. We'll just heal up, make sure we're nice and safe. Step to the side. Step to the side. Alright, let's put up our money guard. Oh. A little bit early, I forgot about the blizzard. But after the blizzard is when we would do it. He's going to jump to the middle. We're just going to diamond back. Oop, that was late. Okay, we gotta do this normal then. I messed that one up. I was gonna try to put up my uh, gob skin. But hey, it's fine. You can see I did that one without the moon flute. I did it without the uh, gob skin. Just did it normally. It's really stressful though. I don't like doing that. Like I said, now we're just looping. It's just going to be the same thing from here on out. So you could just stop here. That's fine. Uh, we're going to find the doll. Make sure we're not baiting directly towards it. We get slurped in. Behind. Boom. He does another blast. We're going to have a gravity now. So let's loom so we're directly underneath. Step in one direction. Step in another direction. There's our blizzard. Blizzard is our Q. We're going to put up Mighty Guard. And now we're going to Diamondback. See, we have a ton of Vuln stacks. We just step behind them for that last blast. His auto's hit a little bit harder now, but it's not crazy. If you want, you can even keep up Mighty Guard because you still do pretty respectable damage with uh, Goblin Punch. So it kind of negates it a little bit. Let's see, I'm doing 3400 with Mighty Guard. 3700 without. Okay, we got slurped. Come over here, behind. Side step. Here's 
Here's your gravity. Loom right underneath. There we go. Side step. Side step. He'll do his blizzard again. There's a blizzard. That's our Q. Let's put on Mighty Guard. Let's put on a Gobskin this time. Hello? Whoa, lagged. Diamondback. Let me step behind. these again. See where the doll is. Don't go to the doll yet. We get pulled in and then we run back. Sidestep the last blast. Next is going to be our gravity again. Let's just heal up. Those Vuln stacks are making us take a lot more damage. Loom right underneath him. Side step. Side step again. There's the blizzard. Mighty guard up. He's gonna stand there and think about what he's done. And then we'll dive him back. Get behind. Behind again. Keep ourselves healed. Find the doll. Don't go to the doll yet. Get pulled in. And we run behind. Dodge the last blast. Let's seal up for the gravity. Sidestepping. And I can't remember if it was the last time I tried this before Marcy killed me that I showed the moon flute strap, but we'll do that here. So we're going to interrupt. Let's put on our mighty guard. So sprinting is not allowed, but moon flute is. So what we're going to do is we're going to moon flute. He's going to knock us back. We'll just start running around. Step in for the quake. Keep moving. He doesn't do any fires anymore after the quake goes off. So we're good to just... Come back in after.
Well, it just repeats again. Find the doll. Don't go to the doll yet. Now we go behind the doll. And the golem. Dodge the blast. We'll skip that gravity and just punch him. And as you can see, we got going for gold. So elemental mastery and a walk in the park, as well as we did not damage that crystal. Took a long time, but that's, again, didn't use a lot of spells. Um, if you want more spells, you're just filtered by physical. Things like both ends are very good. Um, you just need to make sure you are nowhere near the crystal. This AoE is huge. See? It's almost the size of the arena. So you just need to not be near the center. You can use Phantom Flurry. Uh, Ruby Dynamics is not good. So, you know, don't use that. But uh, Wing Preparation, a little bit of extra damage. Uh, yeah, so you can grab these. Um, Triple Trident, a little bit of extra damage to you can final sting but he has a ton of health so it's like five percent or something is where you can sting him so that's pretty much it um you can do it a lot faster it's still a slow stage anyway but you can do the whole diamondback thing to make it really safe uh some things that can speed it up as well is you don't need healer mimic you can white wind uh to heal yourself um in fact you should do that probably on healer mimic anyway because it's just faster than exuviation the only problem is if you are doing white winds for healing, you're going to be kind of strapped for mana for diamond backing. So you'll have to actually do the Goldor rush correctly. Oh, that's it. Best of luck.